This is the African American Historical Association of Fairfield County, Connecticut, where black history never ends. At our fourth annual Carter G. Woodson Awards held on February 26, 2011, in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, we had the opportunity to speak with Mr. John Gomes, whose official website is now appearing before you. Boasting fluency in five languages, an accomplished career in international finance, a record of success as a self-made entrepreneur and local civic leader, Mr. Gomes is also waging in 2011 a some say ambitious campaign as the first man of color to become mayor of the city of Bridgeport, the largest and most ethnically complex city in the entire state of Connecticut. Even as many observers of the political scene believe his chances tenuous at best, we leave you to decide Mr. Gomes' potential as a leader on both the local and national stage. vision for Bridgeport, particularly as it relates to people of color, uh, over the next 20 to 30 years? Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity and allowing me to be here. Um, my, my vision, when you talk about Bridgeport, you talk about a Bridgeport of inclusivity, you talk about a Bridgeport of uh, people of all colors, uh, because for so long, uh, Bridgeport has not been... Um, in the stand that it should be recognized when you talk about economic prosperity, when you talk about education, and also when you talk about the social disparity that our community are facing. Uh, as a candidate for mayor, I've embarked on this journey uh, through a grassroots campaign, really reaching the people and letting them know the power they have to cast their vote and hold the people or the elected officials accountable for the direction that this city uh, will be going. My vision uh, really is focused on education, which I find will be the key in building that bridge towards economic prosperity, uh, towards job, and obviously uh, trickling down to the fact of reducing taxes. When you talk about uh, Bridgeport, uh, currently uh, the population, although you talk about the minority population, we actually represent the majority of the population. And we really have to come out and step out of the blocks that we've been so long put in and go out and cast that vote. Because when you look at the results of the election, you look at the minority community, uh, certain areas, certain districts, you look at single digit turnout, which should actually be the, the area that should impact the outcome of the overall election. Uh, we as a community, we as a minority have to express our sense of the majority that we are, go out there, execute our power that will affect education, will affect uh, economic growth, and overall impact our lives as bridge for the future. You may learn more about how you can assist the African American Historical Association of Fairfield County, Connecticut in our quest to create an African museum and cultural center in historic downtown Bridgeport, Connecticut by making either a fully tax deductible contribution or becoming an active member of our organization by logging onto any of the websites listed below. Until next time, this is the African American Historical Association of Fairfield County, Connecticut, where black history never ends.